talk about the lunar phase cycle, as in the phases of the moon. And these are the phases of the moon. You need to be able to sketch them. If you're asked to sketch one of them, you need to be able to recognize them. And you need to know that the cycle takes 29.5 days. Remember, 29.5 days. So let's go through them. The first one is when we can't see anything. And that's called a new moon. Officially, that's the beginning of the cycle, a new moon. If you went outside uh, and there was a new moon, you wouldn't be able to see it. All the sun's light is shining on the side of the moon, which is facing away from us, so we can't see a thing. That's a new moon. Then, as the moon goes round the Earth, we start to see some of the side of the moon which has light shining on it. The first phase of the moon we can see is this. This is a waxing crescent. That's a waxing crescent. Here to here, we see more and more of the moon. Notice that what we can see kind of creeps in from right to left. The next thing that we can see is when we see half of the face of the moon, and that's called the first quarter. That's the first quarter. After the first quarter, this phase where we can see about three quarters of the face of the moon is called a waxing gibbous. G-I-B-B-O-U-S, a waxing gibbous. The word waxing means getting bigger. Uh, an old-fashioned way of making candles is you get a piece of string and you dip it in molten wax again and again and the candle gets bigger. And so the word waxing means getting bigger. So from a new moon, crescent, first quarter, gibbous, to a full moon, the moon is getting bigger. What we can see is getting bigger, rather. And that's a waxing moon. So this is a full moon. We can see all of one side of the moon. All of the side of the moon that the sun's light is shining on. On a full moon. Be very careful of werewolves. Uh, be very careful of lunatics as well when there's a full moon. After the full moon, from there to there is about two weeks. After the full moon what we can see starts to get less and less and the darkness creeps in from right to left. This phase of the moon, where we only see about three quarters of it, is a waning. Waning means getting smaller. This is a waning gibbous. That's a waning gibbous moon. Here we can see half of the face of the moon, and that's a waning, no it's not, it's a third quarter. That's the third quarter, and then the darkness moves in even more, and now all we can see is a crescent on this side, and that's called a, a waning crescent. And if I win the lottery, I'm going to buy a house on Waning Crescent. I think that would be really cool. Then we're back to a new moon and the phase cycle starts again. So we see more and more of the moon as it's waxing, about two weeks. And then we see less and less of the moon as it's waning, which is another two weeks. And the whole phase cycle takes 29.5 days as the moon goes round the earth. What is a little bit trickier to explain is why the time it takes the moon to go round the earth is 27.3 days. So why does the lunar phase cycle take a couple of days more than the time it takes the moon 
to go around the earth. I hope you found this video useful. I plan to make lots of astronomy videos um, to help my students, my GCSE astronomy students. If you're doing GCSE astronomy or if you just enjoy learning a bit about astronomy, uh, I hope you find them very useful. Uh, please press the subscribe button, which is probably up this about there, is it? I don't know. Um, and uh, I hope to see you again. Or rather, it's a bit daft in the same way. Anyway, I'll shut up now.